Hi and welcome to my review videos. This time I'm doing the M37. Um, this is the first time I reviewed an Arli. Uh, never did it before, so excuse me if it is a little bit worse. Um, but the M37 for me, it's not a bad thing, but you need to upgrade it again though, because uh, with the 105 howitzer, you, you, you can't shoot over the map properly. Um, with, with this gun, um, but uh, keep in mind that it's only for the M37, not for other tanks, maybe in future tanks, I don't know. Um, but this gun is pretty good, I have to say. Um, it reloads not that fast, though, for, for, for a low RD. Um, I've had, I've tried other RDs on friends of accounts, and I have to say that they reload f uh, pretty fast. This, this gun doesn't reload that fast, even though 5 rounds per minute is still good. It's not that good for an RD, uh, for a low tier RD I have to say, but what it does have is you're never gonna run out of shells, you have 126 shells, that's a lot for an RD. Um, engine power is not too bad, the engine, um, 300, 320 horsepower, um, you can go pretty fast with this tank, uh, you can go up to 40, uh, up to 56, but normally you're going up to 45 or something like that. Um, the turning is bah, not that ga not that great also for an RT, um, and it has a very good radio, of course, as an RT. Um, with this gun, you can do massive damage. Um, normally, you do around like 80 to 100 damage, but if you can penetrate, um, and the penetration of this gun is 53 average penetration. Um, then you can do around 400 damage and mostly you're gonna end up in tier 5, tier 4 matches even sometimes tier 3, I've had it uh, once before and if there there was some uh, some light light tanks driving and you can penetrate them, you can easily one shot them because most of the light tanks with less armor are tier 4 or tier 3 uh, but of course they are very difficult to hit and what I, what I do have to say also is that the, tra uh, the shell traveling um, the, the amount of time uh, you have if you shoot you have to wait like 2 seconds before the shell arrives this tank has a very long shell arriving time and that's some of the disadvantages, uh, disadvantages, disadvantages of this tank um, and it does also very good armor even 13 is not a lot but if you're in so low tiers, and it is very slope, so that's around 50 to, fif uh, 50 to 40, um, 40 armor, um, effective armor, most of the scouts or the lower tier uh, light tanks can bones on you. And <laughs> that's pretty, pretty funny also. The hit points are not bad either. Um, and this RD got buffed in the in this update because the splash damage was so poor and that's also a very uh, stupid fact about this tank that the splash damage is not that good it is better in this update but it's still not that good um, but let's hop into this I have no nothing much uh, to say ho how to play this tank because uh, what you do have what you do can do with this tank is stay behind you don't have to um, you don't have to uh, move move to other spots uh, because you can easily shoot over the map so you never ha have to move forward or backwards so you don't have to be afraid of that but you need the 105 though um, the M4 gun of this um, what you want to use here is uh, plus 10% to aiming speed because the aiming speed is bad on this tank and that's what I not like that the aiming speed is very poor um, Coated optics maybe, binocular telescope also because you you can spot them first bec before they spot you. Um, camouflage net and maybe a minus 10% to load time. Uh, th these things you want to use. Uh, what you want to use on the commander is uh, repel camouflage of course, camouflage skills. Maybe borders and arms to improve your reload time a bit. Um, let's say that the first thing you want to use the first thing always on RD is research six cents please research it that's the first thing you want to use then you can go for camouflage um, no 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 first brothers and arms and then camouflage or recon it's your choice um, 
here you can choose snapshot of course um, no 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 not snapshot it's not that good for an Audi. Uh, I think none of these maybe dead eye but that's it try to research some of these um, clutch braking of course because you're an Audi and you want to move move very fast and also what I want to say is that the, the gun travel speed of this um, and I still don't know who to, who to call it in English it's the gun left or right thingy without moving uh, your tank it's typical of the RAs and the TDs um, it's very high in this tank you can I think you never have to never have to drive left or right to shoot um, but back to back to the course you will see it in the gameplay lately um, I think that's it. Maybe off road driving, but that's it. I think only clutch braking. You don't need any more. And oh, oops, sorry. Um, the radio man is very important because this is RD. Um, ex extended secular range you can use, and extended view range. These two are really handy. And maybe call for vengeance because most mostly if you are dead, um, the the whole enemy team is in your base. Uh, that's pretty handy for your team to snipe um, to your base and try to take out some couple tanks um, adrenaline rush, safe storage and antitution all of these because these are so slow reloading um, the setup what you want to use is all of these maybe so and of course these three consumables here and also maybe you want to use uh, plus 5% to engine power so you can easily run away maybe even plus 10 percent to engine power if you you really want to use it um, but the uh, octane gasoline is really handy and you can um, exchange your man manual fire extinguisher for the octane gasoline so you can easily run away um, but not much to say else i'll see you in the gameplay hi and welcome back um, i platooned with a with a with a guy from the clan and uh, this thing is also very good if you're platooning and working together um, although I have to say that you don't really earn a lot of experience on this tank um, like mostly I earn about 300 to 400 and my average XP of my account is for uh, fi 560 and even though you think you, you're doing good you only earn like 700 XP and that's Let's not a lot this is by the way with premium account and you see here what I mean with the gun the gun going uh, left and right thingy. Look how big it is. It's just amazing. Like the grill, uh, for instance, has a very bad um, gun left and right thingy. Uh, I, I'll call it a uh, gun traverse speed from now. And the reason why I say to use uh, say storage is because your ammo bag is so big. Like you see here, you can easily uh, see the shells in the tag itself. And because there are so many shells, yeah, it's so easy to hit your your thing, um, your ammo rack. And I try to shoot him here. Um, I'm sorry, this this is not uh, this is not uh, auto aim or aimbot. What I'm using, this is just some theater lag, but still not fixed. If you're playing already. You saw that I splashed him, but I did no damage. I only hit it. I think uh, one critical hit to uh, to his tracks, but not much special. Um, I'm going to speed up this gameplay because uh, Adi is pretty stupid to play. It's very boring, also. That's why I. Uh, that's why I. Uh, it, it took so long before I researched a new Adi tree. And you see here that the aiming time is really high also what I say. This, that's why I say try to try to use plus ten percent to aiming. That was close. And again I shot him in the tracks. But the aiming time is fast enough if you reload between shells. So like here, the a it's done and you have reloaded. And um, the M7 push is the same but only you reload even faster. Um, I, I took a couple of hits on the Churchill tree, but, but um, the Churchill tree has lots of armor, so it did not really do a lot of damage to him. 
and they keep missing because the accuracy is so poor on this gun. It's even more poor on the on the M3 um, gun if you're wondering. The M4 is better. We nailed it bad. I I did 172 um, damage, but I hit them in the sides, and the Churchill doesn't have really lots of armor in the side. That that's why uh, that's why I did so much damage to him. It's a long time ago since I uh, since I recorded this this replay, so I have no idea what happened. And here I shot a Churchill tree in the ass, and the Churchill tree Looks doesn't like have really lots right of through. armor also in in the in the back. And that's why it did pretty lots of damage also. Because he's so stupid to not turn around. And Enemy armor is destroyed. This thing is also very good for city maps because they can shoot really high up and they land like almost vertically on them. Um, I don't know the exact word for it. Also, I'm sorry for that. Um, the PZ4 came running to uh, my to our side, but I got him here. Oh, that was there. Close. oops, my fault. So the PZ4 just tried to ram me, but he failed. I ran in TD mode and finished him off. Got him! But, uh, no, um, no one covering in, in the city. You see that aiming time is so bad on this tank. Um, but M7 Priest, most people say that M7 Priest is not that good, but I have to say that the M7 Priest is not bad because they it reloads so fast. Of course, the grill does uh, 800 damage per shot, and the and the Priest only like 400, but. The aiming time on the priest is very high. Penetration! And the aiming time and the reload time is very high on the priest. And I took the Churchill 1 down. Very luckily though. That was close! So splash damage. Um, before the update, normally I only sh um, shoot hit at the tracks. But thanks to the new update, I didn't because they buffed the, the splash damage. And this is the this is the replay. I got around 700 XP of it, and I will see you in the garage. Bye. Hi, right, welcome back. Uh, this is the g this was the the video. It's not that good because I I poorly play Audi, and I still I, I still have to learn to play Audi because it's a long time ago since I played Audi, like one year ago. You see that also that I have the object 261 here. Um, they nerfed Audi and I have no idea how it feels because no, the M7 for me is not a bad tank. Um, but this was the M37 and I also want to tell you one thing that what, two, two or three days ago I recorded a video with, uh, with film completion. I would highly appreciate it if you check out that video because um, I edited like two and a half an hour on it because we were speaking Dutch and most of my subscribers are English so I put some subtitles to it but if I have to subtitle like every sentence um, my friends say it's really hard to work so I highly would ap appreciate it if you like that video and leave a comment if you want to see more if you want to see more, we will make uh, more of these videos. Um, but this was the review. Uh, the migration rules and you can choose a tank for my gouache. What do you to want to? S what do you me to want to see review next? Um, next week we will review the Amex 50B. Um, it's suggested by a subscriber. Um, the Amex 50B is a really fun tank. I'm looking forward to uh, review it next week. Still need some gameplay though, so I'm still working on it. Um, 
But that's it. Leave it in the comments what you want to see next. And bye.